Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Beast MUA and if you want to know how to make this look, then keep on watching. I did my brows and my eyeshadow base out of camera. I'm going to be using the Ace Beauty by Scarlet Dusk. This is how it looks like. I'm super in love with the packaging. And this is the colors that the palette has. For this makeup look, I'm going to be taking the shade Crimson from the palette and the M433 brush from Morphe. I'm going to concentrate on packing the color instead of blending it. After all the color is packed, then little by little, I'm going to start blending in circular motions. To blend, I'm going to be using the Sunset Rose and the brush M506 from Morphe. Then keep blending and blending and blending como si no hubiese mañana. Tú no lo ves, pero yo duré una hora blending the shadow because you don't want any harsh lines. Never to that. Then I'm going to be dapping on the color shade. Entonces lo voy a poner un poquito más oscurito so the color can vibrate a little bit more and applying that on circular motions. Now I'm going to be using the P. Louise days i don't know exactly the color that i have but yeah and i'm going to be using that for the cut crease and honestly take your time with this this takes time skills and everything just try to be precise with it then i'm going to be using the ruby shade from the palette and the brush m224 from morphe and I'm going to be packing that all over the lid to look shiny. Next to the Aruba shade, we're going to be placing hibiscus with the Morphe M124 brush to create like a chrome effect. After that, we're going to be taking the first color to smooth out the edges. Porque tú no puedes tener un color en San Francisco y otro color, mi amor, en San Diego. And you blend that so we can look perfect, smooth, and flawless. Other eye, I made it out of camera. This is how it looks. Perfect. Will blend and no me soporto. Then I'm going to be taking the glass touching soul primer and I'm going to be placing that all over my face. Un poquito para aquí, un poquito para allá, en la barbilla y en la frente. Okay, then we're going to start to slowly it doesn't look slowly but slowly dab that all over my face so the foundation can look flawless and rubbing it out all over my face then i'm going to be taking the fancy beauty foundation in the shade 235 and i'm going to be applying that all over my face of course because it's a foundation Entonces, ya ustedes están viendo la diferencia entre las dos. I don't know, una es Magdalena y la otra soy yo. Like, I cannot recognize them. It went from no acne to perfect skin real quick. Also, in this channel, I'm going to be helping you on how to do like a perfect full face, like flawless, even though you have acne. So yeah, I'm going to be keep placing that on my face, on the other cheek, of course, and the forehead. And I'm going to be blending that out with the Beauty Blender. Make sure that even on the face, if you use a brush, don't have any harsh lines. Because, sister, you don't want that. If you set that and the lines are there, your face is not going to look good. And I'll be working on my forehead because... This sister, this sister is big and needs a lot of foundation. And I keep working and working and working on my forehead because she ain't joking. She ain't. Y todavía ustedes me ven working on the foundation because yo me pongo y todavía tengo que ponerme más because sister is big y no hay nadie que se lo quite. Y sigo, y sigo, y sigo. This ain't funny anymore. Ya me estoy poniendo media seria, como ustedes ven. By the way, tiene que ponerse foundation en el cuello because no quiero lucir blanca y después... Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to be placing my concealer. This is also from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade 230. And I only apply it 
under my eyes because honestly if you put it a lot over your acne it can pop up and you don't want them you want to avoid that at any cost as you can see ya yo me hice mi toyo so what you gotta do is don't worry about it take the same brush that you blend it with and then you dab it a little bit and that's it the problem is fixed as you can see i'm going to be using the airspun translucent powder and then i'm going to be taking the brightening brush from alamore and i'm going to be setting my concealer very well because if not it can crease after that i'm going to be taking the complexion brush and i'm going to be setting all over my face don't miss spots because if you put a contour over that and it's a little bit wet from the foundation it can look really patchy so make sure that you set every part even if you have a big ass forehead like me do so please now i'm going to be taking the face Press powder palette by Nikita Dragon and the brush number four from BH Cosmetics. Please blend that well, try to build it little by little because honestly the contour can do you dirty and sister you don't want that. Then work on the other cheek and make it look as even as possible because you don't want anything to look patchy or not blended well. And here, we're finally working on my forehead. Yay! Si escuchaste bien, ahora la voy a poner más chiquita porque bien grande si es. Y ahora le voy a dar un momentico de karaoke. Come carbohidrato, pero tú hablale de pasta. Que ella quiere un mes de... Look at me. Hasta que hice el toyo. Normalito. But I'm going to be taking the E64 and I'm going to be applying my bronzer. With this, honestly, depending on how much contour you put in, you can go all in because honestly, with bronzer, you can never go wrong. I love bronzer. Maybe this is my favorite stub of, out of all of them. And now we're going to do my forehead again because this needs to work and sorry that I have been repeating that but honestly I gotta work on it because she ain't living if I don't do this work. For highlight I'm going to be using the Becca Vanilla Quartz and the brush M501 from Murphy y ponérmelo en todos los lugares de la cara. Si te puedo poner la oreja también. Then I'm going to be using the blush from the Nikita's palette. Y me lo voy a poner todo on my cheeks. Because that looks cute. That looks adorable. And why not? Now for brow gel, I'm going to be using the Gimme Brow by Benefit in the shade 3.5. You can already see the difference between my brows. One is looking dusty and the other one is looking on fleek. This is so worth it. Even if you don't do your brows, this will make your brows popping girl don't doubt it on buying it benefit sponsor me for mascara i'm going to be using the roller lash by benefit the only thing that i gotta say about this product is that it lasts long it doesn't flake which means that it's worth it buy it 100 percent recommended finally for lashes i'm going to be using the lily lashes in the style Boston. Here I'm going to give you like a little tutorial on how I put my lashes. Very easy, very quick. To finish with the eyes, I'm going to be taking the shade Crimson and Shade and I'll be putting that on my under eyes to make the eyeshadow look complete, not empty spaces, flawless. To finish, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star setting spray and putting that all over my face. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. You are a